those green white checkers to decide it all here in the bluegrass state. Kyle Bush out in front by a bumper. Now Kurt Bush battles back on the outside. It's a dead heat. It's a family affair here in Kentucky. Kurt and Kyle get together. Kurt Bush will win. That's how you do it, man. Let's start back to, to Saturday night. I don't have a brother. I'll never understand that dynamic. Not only competing with him, but going toe to toe on the highest level, the biggest stage, you know, a two lap shootout. What is that like? To come out on top <laughs> and to beat him this time and to have such an epic finish, this was something special. I won, got to beat my little brother, and now it's sinking in with the video. It's almost like a, a reversal or a blast of the past of my Ricky Craven at Darlington finish. And I was second that year. They touch, they touch! Crap, it. It's, it, again, epic, uh, historic finish. Um, my dad, he calls me, he's like, yeah, Kyle hit you about seven times. <laughs> Two of us could have wrecked each other, and it would have been a huge brawl in the grass. <laughs> but instead, it, it was a huge, epic finish of two guys laying it out on the line to get the W. Yeah, I figure you have the championship, you know, a ton of wins, but was it a checklist item to beat your brother for a win like that? Absolutely. I mean, he was, uh, he had me 0 for 2, yeah. and so now it's 33% that I, I've got the win on it. It's your first win for Chip Ganassi Racing. We know he likes winners. What was the reaction from Chip? We made that pact to sign that contract last fall, and my promise was, I want to make you guys winners. When you make those promises and, and, you, and it follows through and it comes together, it's one of those special moments in time where it's like, yes, we did it together, and let's go get some more. What gave you the confidence it could happen? When we came out of the box and had top fives at Atlanta and Vegas, I'm like, oh, we've got something special. And then yet, we still had to make mistakes. We went from running top five and strong top tens early to fell back a little bit, you know, 12th or 13th. Took those moments to build back up. And, and, and now look at us. Matt McCall's a winning crew chief. The confidence is there. You know, that winning car, um, it's sitting there with confetti and, it, it, and it's like a model piece now for Ganassi. I'm sitting there thinking, no, nah, we gotta get it turned around. And <laughs> it's a good car. Get it back in Homestead. our fleet. <laughs> and I think they're gonna get ready for Vegas to be our first playoff car. So that's that's the importance of keeping going. You come with that reputation that you improve every team that you go to. What is it like having that reputation? I appreciate that, but I'm, I'm just one piece of the puzzle. Uh, I, I get to drive the car. I get to have the most fun with going 200 miles an hour. But it, it takes a pit crew. It takes engineering. The guys hanging the bodies on the cars, so the engine mapping and data. When I was younger, I pushed harder and more aggressive, and I was brash, yes. And, and now I, I can accept the, the losses, but yet learn from them. And to be more patient and more appreciative, it, it makes each win that much more sweeter at this point. Preseason, you told everyone in this place, we're gonna win. You believed it. I believed it, and we made it happen.